वेलकम टू डे नाइनटीन ऑफ अक्टूबर लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड टू डेज क्वेश्चन इज नेक्स्ट ग्रेटर एलिमेंट वन द क्वेश्चन इज एन ईजी क्वेश्चन ऑन लीड कोड बट इट हैज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अंडरलाइंग मैसेज और कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज मोनोटोनिक स्टैक आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इट एज बी गो थ्रू द प्रेजेंटेशन लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन टू आर एस ऑफ टाइप एंड टीचर नम्स वन एंड नम्स टू फॉर ऑल दोज एलिमेंट्स दैट एग्जिस्ट इन नम्स वन also exist in nums 2 we need to tell the next higher element for the set of elements that exist in nums 2 for example let's go case by case basis for 4 there is no next higher element so minus 1 is assigned to it the next element is 1 for 1 the next higher element is 3 so 3 gets assigned to it for 2 let's try and identify the position of 2 in nums 2 it is here and there is no next higher element with respect to 2 therefore uh, we will assign minus 1 to it we need to search for next higher element on its right in nums 2 array we need to up return the result that we computed after searching for next higher element on right for the complete data set that is given to us in nums 1 now let's look at the presentation that i have created for this and let's start with the ppt next higher element 1 lead code 496 and let's take the same example that was specified in the question let's reiterate it for better understanding this is a nums 1 input array that is given to us this is a nums 2 input array that is given to us for each element that exists in nums 1 array we need to search for the corresponding higher element in nums 2 array For four, there is no higher element to its right. We assign minus one to it. For one, there is next higher element which is three. We assign three to it. Next element is two. There is no higher element on its right with respect to two. We assign minus one to it. So, the basic or the naive approach that comes to everybody's mind is for each element you search on its right. the immediate next higher element and as soon as you find that you abort the process and update your result array the time complexity for this approach would be order of n square because for each element that exists in your input array a uh, nums 1 you are searching for an element by iterating through all the elements that in the input array nums 2 to, to find out the higher element on its right this complexity is quite high and we want to reduce this complexity to something better we'll use monotonic stacks to solve this question and using monotonic stacks the time complexity would be reduced to order of n you want to know how let's look at the second approach let me just expand the test case to a slightly bigger one so that you get a better hold of the concept let's start the iteration and let's assume the first element that we have is 7 so i'll create a new stack and i'll add 7 to it let's move ahead next i see is 8 so as soon as you see 8 what you're going to do since 8 is higher than the peakmost element of the stack you will update and remove 7 from the stack and add 8 to it also you will add an entry in your map that for 7 element we have the next higher element as 8 this can be done addition this is done additionally let's continue the process next we see is 5 for 5 we see that the topmost element is 8 in this stack which is higher than 5 what we can't remove we, we won't remove it we'll simply add 5 to it let's move ahead because uh 5 is lower than 8 next element that we see is 2 So two is also lower than the peakmost element of the stack. We'll go and add it into the stack. Let's continue the process. Next we see is one. One is lower than two, the topmost element of the stack. We'll add it to the stack. Let's move ahead. Next we see is six. So six is higher than one. What we're going to do? We'll delete one from the stack and add one into our map. telling that for one the next higher element is 6 now what is the current state of the stack the current state of the stack has two at its peakmost element 
2 is lower than 6 that means we still can remove 2 from the stack so 2 gets removed and for 2 the next higher element also turns out to be equal to 6 so we'll add a new entry in our map telling that for 2 the next higher element is 6 what is the current state of the stack the topmost element of the stack is 5 now since we removed 2 5 is also lower than 6 so we'll again remove this and we'll add a new entry 5 comma 6 into our map for 5 the next higher element is also 6 now what is the state of the stack stack only has one element 8 8 is greater than 6 so you can't pull it out because the value is higher than 6 what we are going to do we will dump 6 onto the stack so stack gets updated with 6 now so this is the state of the stack the bottom element is 8 the topmost element is 6 let's continue the process next we foresee is 10 so 10 is higher than 6 the topmost element of the stack a new entry gets added into the map that says for 6 the next higher element is 10 also we will remove this from the stack next element that we foresee is 8 in this stack 8 is lower than 10 what we can do we can remove this element on the stack and add a new entry in the map telling that for 8 the next higher element is 10 and let's continue the process we'll add 10 to the stack so 10 gets added next we foresee is 4 so 4 is lower than 10 the topmost element of the stack we will add 4 to the stack now the stack is left with only two elements 4 and 10 what we should do we should pull these out till the time the stack is not empty and add new entries in the map for 4 the next higher element is minus 1 it doesn't exist and for 10 also a similar kind of thing we added a new entry in the map telling for 10 the next higher element is minus 1 so in this way while iterating through the input array only once we were able to identify the next higher element for each element of the input array and now whatever nums one input array is given to us there will be a subset of elements from this input array we can iterate over this map extract the values that that have been set at these keys and we, we can create the answer set and dump the result i hope this is clear to you just for the sake of completeness let, let's take a hypothetical case where we are given 8 6 and 4 in our nums1 array and what we are going to do we'll search for each element in our map corresponding to 8 8 does exist in the map and the next higher va its value in the map is 10 so the answer will have 10 at the first index next is 6 do we have 6 in the map yes it has we have and the value is 10 so again we will have 10 and next we have 4 for at 4 we have minus 1 so the answer would be this 10 comma 10 comma minus 1 this is what we need to return for the input data set 8 6 and 4 you can create as many permutations as you want and calculate the final result accordingly now let's look on to the coding section the first thing that i've done is to define a map of integer comma integer and also have created a new stack of type integer that will store the element the current element into consideration in the stack let's iterate through the nums to input array till the time my stack is not empty and my current element happens to be higher than the topmost element of the stack i extract the topmost element and put it in the map against the current element because the current element is higher than the topmost element of the stack i'll continue this till the time this condition is met with each iteration in the while loop the topmost element of the stack will be popped out otherwise i go and update the stack with the current element into consideration stack dot push el let's now build the answer the final answer i created a new array of size nums one dot length for each element in the nums one array i extract the value that is present in the map 
and if it is not there i assign minus 1 value to it and once i have built my answer area i simply return the result let's try and submit it up where do i see the status accepted 5 microseconds milliseconds and this brings me to the end of today's session if you are interested in more such questions we have solved couple of them in the past i am attaching the links and references to those questions it will be a great revision opportunity to build in this monotonic stack concept i hope you liked it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye